after your first game with Keaton. How did it feel out there? Felt great. Um, you know, obviously there's some things we got to clean up as an offense. Um, but, you know, I feel I feel great about where we're at. Anytime you score 38 points, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good job. So. Did you guys, I, I know that nobody's looking for touches, but did you guys feel like there was a good spread between the, the three of you guys out there? Yeah. Um, I mean, we, we wanted to, to send a message with the run game too. So, um, you know, we were looking to get that, that going. Um, that was a big part of our, our focus in the game plan. So, um, but yeah, I mean, no, none of us really care about, you know, how many targets we're getting. Obviously, you know, we want the ball and, and anything like that, but, um, at the end of at the end of the day, all that matters is that W in the win in the win column. So, Pat, yeah. okay. Pat, Pat talked about how you guys didn't have enough shot plays or like big plays down the field. And there were a couple plays where you guys were just like an inch away here, inch away there. Mm. How do you guys work on that to make sure that it is part of your game this week? Um, I think it just starts in practice. You know, yesterday and today, um, you know, we we've been on point. We're looking good for this week. So, um, yeah, like you said, I I think we'll. We'll throw the, the ball down downfield a bit more this week and, uh, you know, make some big plays. One of the areas Tennessee doesn't have a lot of people returning in his corner. Mm. Does that get you guys a little extra excited for this matchup, knowing that you guys could potentially be, you know, play a big role in this one? Yeah. Um, I mean, whether, whether they're a fifth-year returning guy, senior, um, or a freshman, you know, it, it doesn't change anything that we do. Um, you know, whoever lines up in front of us, it's our job to win our one-on-one -on -one and, and to, to catch the ball, get open, catch the ball. So, um, yeah, I mean, we, we treat it as, as any other opponent. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for this Saturday. You had the big catch and run the other night. It mm -hmm. kind of changed the momentum of the game. As a senior, mm -hmm. do you feel like when the team is, is down that you have to sort of help lift them up as, as an older guy? Um, I think that that's come with, with leadership, um, you know, uh, we we definitely need a spark at some point. So um, I know, not just myself, any guy in our, in our room can make that play. So um, you know, big shout out to the O line and and to Keaton for getting me the ball, and it just happened to be be my turn. A, a lot of praise was given to your guys as routes and combinations on Thursday. Mm -hmm. How much of a credit is that to Coach Underwood? Uh, b big credit to Coach Underwood and, and Coach Signetti um, with what they've done with our offense. I'm, I'm having a great time in this offense. Um, just a variety of routes I get to run, and um, you know it, it makes it easy for us to get open. So big, big credit to both of those guys. What did you think of Keaton when you guys saw him get sacked back-to-back -back plays? The offense hadn't really moved in the fourth quarter last, last game, and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. he comes out. And he's hitting, he's hitting Kanate. He's even moving on the field. And then you guys walk down the field and get a big score and a big moment. What did you see yeah. from that? I mean, that's the name of the game, right? You know, football, there's, there's ups and downs. There's adversity. So, um, you know, we, we have full faith in, until the, the, you know, last buzzer goes, until the clock runs out. So, um, you know, just stick to the game plan. I thought he did a great job. Um, and, yeah, you know. We're moving on from last week, and, and we'll look to be better this week for sure. Was there anything he said to you guys before that last drive started? I mean, you had to go 92 yards down the field to try to tie the game on national TV. Did mm -hmm. he have any message to you, or was it just time to go to work? It's time to go to work. You know, we, we all get it. We, you know, we were a championship team last year that had success on offense, so um, we, all, we all understand what we have to do. Um, but, yeah, just seeing how confident he was and um, how confident all of us were. You know, we, we executed and, and got the win at the end of the day. From what I've seen from uh, practice, Coach Signetti seems very hands-on mm -hmm. as far as offensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. Is that something that uh, you, you, is different from what's in the past here? Um, I think just different coaching styles. I wouldn't say, you know, um, anyone in the past hasn't been invested or, or as hands-on, but I think just different coaching styles, and you know, he makes it really fun for us. So, so it's easy to play for him. It's easy for him to coach us, and for us to take the coaching. So, I think he uh, he does a good job with that. You two, two more for Jared. You're the veteran in the room, and so mm -hmm. obviously you have the best idea of what being pit wide receiver means for these guys. Are you the vocal leader of this group? Last year, you guys, every time I ask you, there's no leader, there's no leader. Yeah. But this year, I think it's a little different for you. Are you the kind of guy that everyone looks to, or how is that dynamic? Uh. Like I've I've kind of said before, yeah, guys guys will look to me for for some advice, and you know I can I can give them that knowing that I've been here for for some time now. So um, I'm definitely a guy that leads by example more than I do um, vocalize. But um, if there if there's something that needs to be said, and I feel like I should say something, then I, w I will definitely say something. Jared, what do you think from your group is going to be the biggest jump from week one to week two? 
I think just details, you know, details in our routes. Um, you know, there's a couple plays where, you know, we missed some assignments or just what, weren't as detailed as we should be, and, and that showed up. So I think that's what our main focus is on practice this week. And, uh, yeah, we're going to execute that on Saturday.